Just before their wedding, Laura and Massimo share a private moment, but Laura's friend Olga catches them. Olga reminds them of the superstition that says seeing the bride before the wedding brings bad luck. Massimo follows Olga's advice and leaves, joking that Olga should come with them next time. As Massimo goes away, Olga asks Laura if she has told him about something important, the loss of her child in a tunnel during a war, where she barely escaped. Laura admits she hasn't told him because she's afraid it might cause problems. This secret weighs on her, but Olga comforts her. Olga sees Laura's strength and assures her that she's not alone. They both wake up and begin preparing for the wedding. The wedding is nice, with their friends and connections from the Mafia present. Massimo and Laura officially become married. Their honeymoon is great, and they have a good time together. But one day, Laura sees Olga and Domenico having fun. Laura thinks about tidying up after them, but Massimo tells Domenico to concentrate on work. Amidst this, Massimo informs Laura about a surprise trip he organized. Laura gets upset because she feels like Massimo is trying to manage everything. There's a small argument, but Massimo leaving calms things down. At lunch, Laura talks to Olga about how she reacted, and Olga tells her it's normal in a marriage. Olga suggests Laura tries to make things better with Massimo by being more romantic, and it works, they make up that night. But in the morning, something unexpected happens. Massimo gets up early and leaves, even though Laura doesn't want him to, and he says they should go back to their usual routines. After leaving the restaurant suddenly, Massimo arrives and disturbs Laura and Olga during their meal. He calls them away, not letting them enjoy their food. The story moves to their house. Laura is on the balcony, thinking. Massimo comes over and interrupts her thoughts. Laura starts talking about their difficult start, how she was kidnapped but eventually fell in love with Massimo. She also says that she's her person and not just under his control, she's his wife and deserves to make her own choices. Massimo tries to explain why he acted protectively, but Laura interrupts with a strong response. She says that their current situation feels like being trapped, not safe. Angry, she heads to their car, and Massimo realizes he made mistakes. He agrees with her. As time goes by, Laura is in the calmness of their garden. A new person, Nacho, who is now the gardener, comes up to her. They introduce themselves, and Nacho tells her about his Spanish background. He explains why he sounds a certain way and how he started working for Massimo recently. They talk about different things, and Laura mentions that she feels like she doesn't have a clear purpose except being a wife. But Nacho disagrees and says that being a dedicated partner is very important and has a lot of depth to it. They have a meaningful conversation, and Nacho eventually leaves, saying he'll make beautiful flowers for Laura. The story moves to a lively Christmas party. Massimo gives Laura a clothing company as a gift. This shows he understands her wish to have a job and be independent. Laura is thankful and very happy. She takes the gift and feels joyful. She decides to give something back to Massimo that shows she cares about what he wants too. At the same time, something similar is happening. Domenico gives Olga a ring and asks her to marry him. He means it. Olga is moved by his honesty and says yes. They celebrate their engagement with happiness. As the party goes on and everyone is enjoying themselves, the night becomes more private. Laura and Massimo spend some romantic moments together. Later, when they are relaxing, Laura thanks Massimo for inviting her parents to the party. They have a caring talk about Massimo's family, and Laura notices that his connections are getting smaller, even Mario, who used to work for them, is gone. Massimo tells Laura that Mario decided to retire because he feels guilty about what happened to Laura in the past. They talk about Massimo's feelings of loneliness, made worse by complicated family matters. Laura gets frustrated because she can sense Massimo isolating himself, and they have a tense argument. Massimo reveals this hidden part of his life, and it feels like he might leave, carrying unsaid emotions. Later, Laura and Olga go to pick dresses for an upcoming event. They meet Emily, who is lively and full of energy. Emily talks about doing business together in the future, and they start looking for dresses. They eventually choose dresses for the party, but Laura is still unsettled. Olga asks her about it, and Laura hints at being angry with Massimo, deciding to talk about it later. The story shifts to the event. Laura and Massimo are sitting together, but Massimo is mostly focused on talking business with his partners. Laura starts to feel left out. They have a sudden argument when Laura says she wants to go, and Massimo gets defensive and angry. They become even more distant as he walks away, saying they need to talk later. Laura's parents step in and help her. They offer comfort and explain that in a lasting marriage, compromise is important. 
As the night goes on, Laura starts dancing to the music, getting lost in the rhythm. Suddenly, she sees Massimo at the top of a big staircase, with his ex-girlfriend Anna. Laura becomes curious and uneasy, so she follows them through winding hallways until she finds a heart-wrenching scene. Massimo and Anna in a close and private moment. Seeing this breaks her heart, and she feels devastated. She quickly leaves the party to escape the pain. Walking along the road with no specific destination, Laura meets Nacho. He comes out of the car and tries to comfort her. Laura can't explain her feelings well, so she asks him to just take her away from the suffering. As the car drives on, Laura's emotions keep swirling inside her, and eventually, she asks Nacho to stop. Feeling very alone, she talks about how she feels foolish and wants to escape her problems forever. In a surprising twist, Nacho invites Laura to go with him to his family's beach house, offering her a break from her troubles. Seeing an opportunity for some time alone, Laura cuts off her digital connections to her past and decides to go on this new adventure with Nacho. The beach house becomes a haven for her, and Nacho takes care of her and makes her feel better. Sitting down for a meal together, Nacho adds a personal touch by serving a dish from his family's traditions. The beach house, rich with memories of his father and sister Amelia, becomes the backdrop for their growing closeness. Spending time with each other, Laura and Nacho find comfort and understanding, forming a connection that eases their pain. Meanwhile, back at the beach house, Massimo faces Laura's angry mother, who slaps him across the face. Massimo claims he doesn't know where Laura is, but her mother accuses him of Laura's absence. As the story continues, Laura gets to know Amelia during a day at the beach. Amelia's kind words mirror the feelings of those who care about Laura, wishing happiness for Nacho. However, Laura, caught up in her complicated feelings, hesitates to consider a future with anyone. As they spend more time together, Laura and Nacho's bond grows stronger. During a movie night, they have an open conversation. Laura admits that she still longs for Massimo. In response, Nacho offers a fresh perspective that helps Laura see things. He describes Massimo as someone with imperfections and expresses disbelief that he could hurt someone as incredible as Laura. In the days that come, Laura and Nacho fill their time with various activities, strengthening their connection through shared experiences. As time goes on, Laura becomes more attracted to Nacho, daydreaming about getting closer to him, although she doesn't talk much about her feelings. A turning point occurs when they go for a swim together. They share a gentle kiss that creates a spark, but they decide not to take things further. In another part of the story, Massimo meets Anna and senses a link between her and Laura's disappearance. Anna suggests something, hinting that their shared Sicilian background is connected to Massimo's happiness. However, Massimo sees through her deception and accuses her of being involved in Laura's vanishing. Their confrontation reveals a shocking truth. A man who looks exactly like Massimo steps forward, introducing himself as Adriano, Massimo's twin brother. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Anna and Adriano worked together on a devious plan. They orchestrated a complex scheme to make Laura leave, with Anna worried that Massimo's suspicions could ruin their plan. In the days that come, Laura's journey takes an unexpected twist when Nacho tells her about a significant upcoming meeting involving his father and Massimo. Laura is puzzled by the contrast between a gardener's extravagant lifestyle and his job. Her confusion leads her to have an open conversation with Nacho. With a heavy heart, he reveals a shocking truth. He is the child of a powerful local mafia leader, a direct rival of Massimo. Laura is taken aback by this revelation and wonders if Nacho's actions were influenced by his father's authority. He reassures her, saying that she chose to be with him willingly and that he would have found another way if she hadn't agreed. Their journey takes them to a place that feels ominous, guarded by serious-looking figures. As Nacho goes deeper into this place, Laura is both excited and worried. Inside the compound, Nacho witnesses a tense confrontation between Massimo and his father. The atmosphere is heavy with tension as they clash over an important business deal, both trying to assert their power in their high-stakes world. This interaction reveals the fragile state of Massimo's business empire and the burden of his family's history. In an unintended slip of words, Nacho's father indirectly lets it slip that Laura is now being held by their powerful family guard. In a dim and desolate place, Laura unexpectedly faces a confrontation. As she tries to make sense of her eerie surroundings, she discovers a puzzling secret about Massimo, he has a twin brother named Adriano. The tension builds as Massimo and Nacho rush to the scene, racing against time to save Laura from the impending danger. However, before they can intervene, Adriano takes control, holding Laura hostage at gunpoint. 
The situation becomes intense, with power shifting in a gripping showdown. With determination, Laura fights for her freedom, creating chaos in the room. Anna, a person deeply connected to these unfolding events, steps in with deadly intent and shoots at Laura. But in an unexpected twist, Nacho steps in, aiming his weapon at Anna and triggering a series of retaliatory actions. In a gripping climax, Massimo faces off against his twin brother, Adriano, in a tense confrontation. Massimo's unwavering resolve to safeguard Laura is evident as he takes a final shot that immobilizes Adriano, putting an end to the intense situation. Holding Laura close, Massimo becomes her shield against the turmoil, a strong symbol of protection and affection amidst the chaos. With the pieces falling into place, alliances shift, and people's determination shines brightly. This reminds us that even in challenging moments, there's room for redemption and hope to emerge.